John chapter 17. Jesus prays for himself. After Jesus said this, he looked forward toward heaven and prayed, Father, that time has come, glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. Jesus prays for his disciples. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out of the world. They were yours. You gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the word you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you, and that they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me. For they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them and kept them safe by that name you gave me. None has been lost except the one doomed to destruction, so that scripture would be fulfilled. I am coming to you now, but I say these things while I am still in the world so that they may have the full measure of my joy within them. I have given them your word, and the word has hated them, for they are not of the word, of the world, any more than I am of the world. My prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of it. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, I have sent them into the world. For them I sanctify myself, they too may be truly sanctified. <clears throat> this chapter, John chapter 17, I'm reading slow because it's prayers by Jesus. Jesus prays for all believers. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me and I am in you, may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory that you gave me, that they may be one as we are one, I and them and you and me. May they be brought to complete unity to let the world know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am and to see my glory the glory you have given me because you love me before the creation of the world. Righteous Father, though the world does not know you, I know you, and they know that you have sent me. I have made you known to them and will continue to make you known in order that the love you have for me may be in them and they that myself may be in them. That was uh, John chapter 17, um, a series of three prayers. Jesus prays for himself, Jesus prays for his disciples, and Jesus prays for all believers. He doesn't say much about um, the non-believers, but he kind of says that they just don't exist. Uh, the particular uh, branch of Christianity that I um, am part of is the uh, Adventist branch, which doesn't believe in hell. They believe that people, non-believers, they just uh, disappear. If they don't go to hell, they just cease to exist. My name is Gregory Brandt. You click the thumbs up and continue reading. I'm going to be reading the whole Bible here, God willing. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to keep getting upgrades to this channel with a better light, better camera, and better audio. So help this channel grow and uh, tell one person about it.